Hi, my name is Sarah Ramos and I'm an entertainment editor here. I'm a senior and I joined Alice Doge as a junior. My name is Kristen Chang. I'm a junior and a special report editor. I joined staff as a sophomore. My name is Maya Murthy. I am a junior who joined staff as a sophomore. I've been a news editor for the past two years. Hi, I'm Alina Abidi. I'm a junior. I'm the sports editor here and I joined Ellis Tokyo my sophomore year. My name is Aditya Pimplaskar and I'm a sophomore at Monta Vista High School. This is my first year on staff and I serve as the photo editor. Hi, I'm Gabby Monaco. I'm the opinion editor. I joined staff my junior year. My name is Pranav John Dial. I'm a junior and I'm a first year writer at staff. And we are Ellis Stoke. We are Ellis Stoke. And we are Ellis Stoke. And we are Ellis Stoke. And we are Ellis Stoke. We are Ellis Stoke. And we are Ellis Stoke. I didn't really have very much experience in photography going into journalism. I was interested in it, but it wasn't anything like I knew a lot about it or I hadn't had any like formal know what everything does. But then as I went, I started learning about it. So that's one of the great things about not just the photography, but just every aspect of journalism. It's that you don't necessarily need to have the full skill set built when you come in. You can learn that as you go. and. As you go, that makes it an even more rewarding experience. My first story was about the link dance and about a um, little bit about dance culture. So I talked about freaking, and because I used the term um, freshman rape in the article, um, I was called down to the office and I was given quite the talking to. It was very scary. I and I had a bit of a learning experience. I cannot with, believe okay, you're telling everything, that story. Everything about this. Went was wrong from the first day. Mary Beth Tinker is a student activist and she stood up for like First Amendment uh, freedom of speech rights and she came to our school to um, go to the auditorium and speak to us about her experiences defending um, student rights and we all, the whole staff separated into little teams like a PR team and a like a news team yeah. and we would all cover the event together and, and we thought okay, and that we, were we like, would be yeah, the best we like, people you know to what? write the news we're amazing. We're, Yeah, we're like, oh my god, we can write. We're so we're good at this. so good at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just news brief. Oh, it's so good. Life, Life doesn't work, work that way. way. Okay, so we go out and we try <laughs> and get all of the information needed, which really yeah. wasn't very which much. Was, I was, may have resorted to Wikipedia, which is don't, do not ever, do not ever. So again, learning experience. And so we push it through all of the edits and we get an email from Balmeo, our advisor. And she's saying, saying okay, Balmeo is the one who actually said There's an this. error there's here. A lesson. And so I correct it. And I write the, and I write the correction, you and know. The, it's embarrassing because the blurb is only this long. The correction's like this, this long. long. So one third so of then, our story is No, no, no. And then she sends us another email. And then we get another one. And then another one. And then another Three one. Three levels of correction. Our blurb <laughs> is this long. Our and corrections the are this, this long. long. But we learned something from our embarrassment. It's not, Elstoke is not just about humiliation and mistakes. We now understand, A, that it's not just about relying upon two people and and their ability to... You, sure you yeah, get, you, you get to know you, how to spell people's last yeah. names. With, the problem is when you, you, when you get a story, you become really insulated yeah. with you and your co-author that you're just constant communication between the two of you or between you and the <laughs> Wikipedia page, which you never want to do. Just erase it from your web browser, um, that you don't realize that, wait, we should probably ask other people, we yeah. should probably fact check. Fact checking is so incredibly important. We should think about accuracy rather than just being so focused and insulated within this, like, one, we need to get the story done, we need to get the story done. One of my favorite memories is going to cover a game last year when I was in sports. Christine and I covered girls soccer and I remember going to a game and someone was like, yay, Ellis Tokyo is here. And I was really glad that I could validate their passion and show them that somebody cares about what they do and at the same time it felt really nice to hear that they care about what I do. That in covering their sport we were able to do them a service of looking at pictures of them and looking at their stories and to show them that what they do matters. When me and uh, another writer on staff were covering uh, kind of the uh, infinite campus hack a while ago. The funny thing was that this that the administration was kind of denying any uh, any of it happened. And that's like the time when I really got when I really understood why journalism was so important. It's to bring these kinds of um, important issues to the forefront of student discussion because no one else will. I mean, uh, otherwise we can just keep 
keep being oblivious to these things. My first story was such a great experience for me. Um, I was talking to this girl, Alison Gottlieb. She was telling me all these great stories and suddenly it just hit me that, oh my god, I want to write about this, right? Yeah. And it was just like this aha moment that I've been trying to pursue in every story I've written so far. and. Um, it's just, eventually I realized, you know, I had to stop being so self-centered and instead of trying to push myself, you know, Maya Murthy out there, I felt like it was more valuable. Yeah, becoming me. a channel for other people's, other people's voices and other people's stories. And I think that's one of the that's, most, um, yeah, that's the best part, is that I get to tell other people's stories and I still get to put a little bit of myself into it. Lately, we've not just focused on the student population, but the broader community as well. And we've seen this in a lot of special issues, like the Cupertino is not boring issue, which was one of my favorites because I got to interview like a famous bowling ball <coughs> polisher. I met a guy who's been an archer for 25 years and went to the Stuana Stanford competition. I've met I've met people who've only been in the country for two days, and this is all by sort of pushing those limits and stepping out of the school as well and relating it back to community. So it's not just about reporting about the students, which is obviously primary focus and really important, but it's also making community something that's more relatable to the students as well. Going to DC was probably the mm -hmm. best experience I had on staff. It was a great learning opportunity and bonding opportunity, and it was just um, very Really, it was very cool to just meet all these different people who do exactly what we do. Looking back, especially as a senior, that a lot of my friends that I've had and that I like, I know that I'm going to keep for so long, like came from Elstoke, and I never expected like that was like what it was going to be. I came into it thinking that this is I had a job to do, but it ended up becoming so much more. And I think the people that I met here are going to like I'm never going to forget what I did here. And I think that's a really that's something that you can't get out of. That's something you don't get everywhere. I was always interested in writing, it was always my favorite thing, especially creative writing in class. And I remember in middle school, I really wanted to join the Paw Parade at Kennedy, because when my brother went to school, I remembered reading it, and they didn't have that, so I joined the yearbook instead. And then when I came to high school, again, I did writing for Pub because my brother did, and I fell in love with the journalism, and again, with writing for Pub, I always look forward to going to it and seeing what we're going to do. And journalism was an extension of that, and it kind of took over my life in the best way possible. And I'm sure everyone on staff can agree that once you commit to it, it's really rewarding. My experience with it wasn't so planned out. I, like, I guess I didn't realize right away when I got to school that, I, that that's what I wanted to do, but I kind of realized as like the Elastokes of my freshman and sophomore year kind of piled up in my closet and I love reading them so much and just being like, wow, it'd be so cool if I could like write one of those that I kind of just like, I, didn't, I never took writing for pubs. So I was like, I'm, I might as well try it. And I'm so happy that I did because it's, I feel like high school would have been so much less enjoyable if I didn't decide to join. We are in a school of like 2,300 plus students, which sometimes can make it feel like you're just another face in the crowd. But with um, Ella Stoke, it's you have 49. It's only 49 people right now, and it just gives you a chance to bond with all these people who have similar interests and are working towards a similar goal, and you're actually producing something physical. So it feels like you're really making a difference on campus and you're really involved in something that matters.